Starting this past Tuesday, Microsoft released an update that has caused many computers to actually crash. You will get a blue screen of death error message. And for most, the actual error co stop code says APC underscore index underscore mismatch. And what failed specifically was the win32k full.sys file. What is causing this? Well, check if you have the Kyocera printer installed, because the Kyocera is the root cause of this particular issue. So click on start or just click press your Windows button and type WinVer, which is abbreviated for Windows version. At the top left hand corner here, pay attention to the version. In my case, I have 20H2. Yours might be 2004, 1909 or 1809. Once you have that particular version, there's a number of different areas that you can go into to find the Windows updates. The more common one is you can click on start again and type control panel. And once that opens up, you can go into programs and features, turn window or view installed updates, wait for this list to propagate. And at the top in the search installed updates, you can type that particular number in there. As you can see on this system that has been installed and it was installed on my last update, which was March 11th. So I can click on it here and go uninstall. That's if you like the graphical interface. For those of you that prefer the command prompt, you can bring up a command prompt. And in this particular uh, area, you can type the following command. And I usually do this for most of my clients to send them this and say, just run the following file in an admin command prompt because it makes it a lot easier. You can do WUSA space forward slash uninstall space KB colon and then the particular knowledge base or the particular update that's applicable to your computer. If you're running Windows 10 version 2004 or 20H2, it is KB5000802. If it is version 1909, it is KB5000808. And if it is Windows 10 version 1809, it is KB5000822. So uninstall the relevant update for your system. Once it prompts you, reboot. And in most cases, this actually fixed the problem. However, that's not always been the case. There's two more things that you might have to do. Again, click on Start or right-click on it, go into the Control Panel, depending on where your Control Panel is linked. Once in the Control Panel, go into your Devices and Printers. As soon as that loads up on your screen, just scroll down and have a look at your printers if you have the Kyocera. If you do, then you know that's causing the problem. Right click on your printer. You can go into Printer Properties. And somewhere in here, there's always an option that says Spool Documents or Print Directly to Printer. Usually it's under the Printer Properties Advanced tab. Now, if it's spooling the document, that's what causes the printer to actually crash and cause a blue screen error. You can change this here to print directly to the printer or the other option, again, if you want to send this out to your staff or something, come in here and look for the name of the actual printer. Copy the name. We'll cancel these screens off. We'll again bring up a remote or a administrative command prompt. The command we want to type first to see if direct printing is turned on is the following. Once this box comes up, you can see on the left-hand side here, under Attributes, it doesn't have Direct in there. So this particular printer is not using Direct Printing. So you can change it by issuing the following command. So the same as before, but we're just changing the XG to, S to XS, and then we're putting Attributes plus Direct on the end. Now, if we run the previous command again, you'll see now under Attributes, it says Direct. Try it, and on many computers, this fixed the issue. However, I have run into one particular client where this did not work either. So what I ended up having to do is go into Devices and Printers, bring up your particular printer again to view the printer properties. Under your Advanced tab, check on the actual driver. The Kyocera driver version 3 or the Kyocera universal driver cause the issue in this particular case. What I had to do is I had to completely remove this printer, go onto Kyocera's website and look for a version four driver. Once I installed the version four driver, the last computer that I was having a problem with, the issue was fixed.
So hopefully between these three different methods, you'll get your computers back up and running without crashing every time you hit that print icon.